wealth. Wealth is a source of power as it can be used to purchase what one wants from others. Many of the things one may desire in life can be found in the possession of others. From the food held by the supermarket or the farmer, to the professional services of a designer or engineer, to the equity of a promising business, wealth can be exchanged for the goods, services, and assets that one wants from others. Many people would gladly accept money to provide these goods, services, or assets, as it increases their own wealth, which in turn can be used to acquire what they themselves want. Money is the form of wealth used to acquire things from others. However, it is not the only form of wealth, and it is not the only avenue of wealth as a source of power. Wealth, in the form of assets, is also a source of power. An asset is a resource that can provide value to its owner. Assets can be used to transform will into reality. Assets in the more economic or financial sense of the term include land holdings, real estate holdings, business holdings, intellectual property holdings, and other property holdings. Not only can these assets generate more wealth, which humans naturally want more of, but they can also provide for other wants and needs. Owning farmland can provide food, water, and other resources. Owning a house provides shelter, space, safety, and security. Owning a business provides one with the opportunity to steer the business in a direction that one desires and fulfill one's goals and dreams. Owning intellectual property allows one to decide what an invention, technology, artwork, film, song, literary work, etc., can be used for, preventing its use for purposes one disfavors, and allowing and even encouraging its use for purposes one favors. Similar things can be said for other property holdings. Other possessions not usually considered assets in the economic and financial context can still be considered assets in the context of power, because they can be used to transform will into reality. A nation that is well supplied with weapons, for example, would be wealthy in those weapons that serve as a source of power to achieve military goals. An organization with talented people would have a wealth of talent that can be applied to achieve the goals of the organization. A person with a library of good books can use it to improve his knowledge and skills, train his mind, and gain relevant information that could help him achieve his goals. A person with a gym membership or a well-equipped gym himself can use it to train his body to become stronger, healthier, and more beautiful, which can all help him achieve certain goals he has. Strength can win fights, health can provide a higher quality and longer life, beauty can attract others, etc., as well as being goals themselves. Any possession that can be used to transform will into reality is an asset, and is part of the wealth that serves as a source of power. Wealth is a very potent form of power. In the form of money, it can be used to purchase what one wants, and in the form of assets, it can be used to generate more wealth, provide resources, or fulfill other desires or objectives. But wealth as a source of power has limitations. Firstly, not everything is for sale. There are things one desires that others are not willing to sell. There are things one desires that others are not permitted to sell. There are also things one desires that others simply do not have available to sell. There are ways to overcome this limitation. Sometimes others may change their mind about their willingness to sell if the price is raised. Sometimes laws change that allow previously prohibited things to be sold. And sometimes technology improves or new businesses are created so that things that were previously unavailable become available for sale. People can even personally overcome this limitation by offering a higher price, taking political or legal action, or creating or assisting to create new technologies or businesses so that things that were previously unavailable become available for sale. Of course, this limitation isn't overcome in every case, as others may not be willing to sell something even at a higher price, or one may not even have the wealth to offer an acceptably higher price, or one may not have the power to affect political 
or legal change to legalize the sale of prohibited things, or one may not have the power to create new technologies or businesses to bring new things to the market. Whatever the case, not everything is for sale. Sometimes one overcomes this limitation. Sometimes one does not. Secondly, and this limitation applies more to wealth in the form of assets rather than wealth in the form of money. Others, particularly government authorities, can restrict and regulate the use of wealth, and may even coerce the owners of wealth into using their wealth for purposes they would otherwise not choose themselves. For example, a business owner may be restricted from taking certain actions due to government regulations. The business owner may also be restricted from taking certain actions by criminal activity. Also, a landowner may be coerced by government authorities or criminals for the use of the landowner's land, even if it is against the landowner's will. Thirdly, wealth can be stolen. A very unfortunate thing about building wealth is that wealth is vulnerable to theft. Wealth can be taken by robbery, fraud, taxation, etc. Taxation on what a person owns is simply extortion and theft, as one does not really own something if one has to make regular payments to keep it from being taken by force. This type of taxation is totally different from taxation on what a person buys or what a person earns, as it violates the person's right of property. The previous two limitations can be overcome by the forceful protection of one's own wealth. When dealing with governments, people can take political or legal action to safeguard their own property. They may even move their property to another jurisdiction, where their property would be more safe from government interference or confiscation. When dealing with criminals or other malevolent individuals, people can personally defend their property by force. Hire guards and enlist the help of others. Install security systems and take other security measures. Even something as simple as locking the door can prevent a criminal from breaking into one's house, as the criminal may look for an easier unlocked house to rob. When dealing with fraudsters, people need to be discreet with who they trust and what information they share. Same can be said for dealing with hackers. Cybersecurity measures are important. Many entrust third parties for the protection of their wealth. Banks, for example, are supposed to keep their clients' deposits safe. Business owners may hire security guards and cybersecurity specialists. Real estate owners may hire security companies, and intellectual property owners may hire lawyers to defend against unlawful use of their intellectual property. Thus, although wealth can be a very potent source of power. It does have its limitations, and owners of wealth may have to take action to overcome these limitations to unleash the greater power of their wealth.